Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another episode of Behind the Blind. This is Nadir. And this is Yadira. And that is Yadira and this is Nadir. Yep. You're supposed to say this is Yadira. No. That's how the game goes, Dira. Well, you didn't tell me you're playing games. Dira, so. every time I say, and this is Nadir, you're supposed to say, and this is Yadira. Hold on. Let's make sure he's pronouncing your name right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, honey. Yadira. <laughs> I've gotten used to it after all these years. So... This is Nadir. I already said who I was. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Behind the Blind. This is, no, I'm playing. <laughs> I, I, I'm really good at beating a dead horse, yep, right, wife? you yeah. are. Yes, I am an expert dead horse beater. Anyway, so we yeah. took a break because... We didn't take a break. Wait, did we have one? Oh, yeah, last we week did. we didn't. That's we right. Because yeah, yeah, my yeah, allergies yeah. were horrible. Yes. And I didn't get laryngitis, alhamdulillah, but I think it's because I made myself take a break. Larry Angitis, he invented that disease. I constantly get it. Go back so. to the old episodes of Behind the Blind, we talked about it. Yeah, but I didn't get lar- laryngitis this time, alhamdulillah, because I made myself take a break. I made myself kind of slow down. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so we took a day off, but uh, we're man, probably. My allergies we, we do, were we, just. We, we awful, really need though. to talk about taking some legit time off, though, because we've got a lot going on. So the June. summer might be where we have to take. Some time mm-hmm. off because we have weddings coming up. We have not to say we're not going to put stuff out. Not to say we're not going to put episodes behind the blind, but it may may not be as consistent. Yeah, as we, we might are have to right take now. a few. You know, kind of like seasons. You know what I mean? We had this season, and we're going to come back. Next well, that, season. well, I'm saying like we may be able, we may be able to throw some episodes in in the middle, right? Maybe, Maybe. but again, because we have weddings, we have the NFB convention, we mm-hmm. have a lot of stuff coming up, and then stay tuned though. We'll try to record some stuff. Inshallah, and the see. There's a couple things we're doing personally that, you know, it's just a busy, a lot of busy, mm-hmm. a lot, a lot of busy. So we'll see. A lot, a lot of busy. Yeah. We'll see how consistent we can be during the summer. And um, inshallah, we'll see. Yep. What? This is a new thing. Recap you're doing. of the week. Huh? What? <laughs> a new thing you're doing. I don't know. Just, just being me. Okay. Being a dummy. Anyway. So how was your so- week? That's good. Alhamdulillah. Let's recap the week. Okay. My birthday was on Sunday. <laughs> so. You know what's funny? What? A lot of times people don't get the awkward pause that you put there on purpose, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I use the I use my software to remove all the pauses. Yeah. <laughs> so, they, they so they think I'm laughing. Why am I laughing? Right. No idea why it's I'm just laughing. Because I just. Because <laughs> you just make a pause and you're like, oh, God. Yeah. It's my exasperation. Okay. So honest question. How many times a day do you say. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. I don't keep you count. You know, dealing with me. See, okay, wow. <laughs> wow, she does not keep count. So, yeah, your birthday was this past week. Yep. I took the kids to the mall to buy you presents. It was so sweet. Mm-hmm. What did you get? Is that one of the kids knocking? Or was that you moving? Could have been me moving. Okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what did you get? <sighs> I got some stuff from Bath and Body Works like just some lotions and sprays and stuff I, I really like scents and even the natural hey, that wasn't me the heck is going on here I have no idea what's up with all these noises I gotta have one ed- headphone out of my ear so I can hear noises anyway yeah I'm really into all the fragrance and the, even even making my own homemade stuff you know yeah you do make your own homemade stuff yeah like which the lotions I'm still waiting for beard oil oils I'm and still waiting for that beard I know, oil I know it's been months it has not. It's been like a it, month. No, no, oh, no, no, wait, no. It's been since Ramadan. It's been months because I've been using the one you made for yourself for your hair. Okay. okay. So my beard oil has been out of oiliness for like okay, I'll four make, months, you know bro. What? I'll make you some when I'm done with this podcast. We'll see about Inshallah. that. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. We'll see. So Life happens. It does. Too much. But I'm really into all that stuff and, and mm. I make all these homemade skincare products. Yep. And... um. But I'm also into anything with fragrances and stuff I love. So the kids got me some stuff from there. And then you took them to build a bear. And they got me a little Labradoodle Mm because I love dogs. Mm -hmm. And then they put a little scent in it. I think it was like cotton candy or something Mm -hmm. like that. Yes. And then they they all recorded. um, You could do a little recording on build a bear. And they put it in the little doggy's paw. And it said, I love you, mama. But it was all the kids recorded. They recorded themselves as a group. And it was the best gift ever. And I think that's my favorite gift ever. There you go. That's her favorite gift ever. And it was so sweet. Yes. So that was anything else happened this week? I don't think so. I mean, I've been busy as hell, but normal busy. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nothing it's unusual. Just back busy. to life, pretty back to much, life. right? Just normal busy. <clears throat> so, what are we talking about today, wife? What? What? I'm putting my other ear back in because I just think it's noisy. Your other the... ear? <laughs> yeah, I got two ears, bro. <laughs> no, you're putting your other ear back in, not your other. That's headphone. not what I said. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. You're gonna hear it when you go. Okay, fine. <laughs> Sure. I'm putting my other ear back in. Um, I just think it's weird noises in the garage. That's all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just garage noises. So anyway, so let's talk about what's going on, wife. Any blind news? I don't know what you mean by blind. <laughs> <laughs> we saw that review of that stupid remote. Oh, yeah. That was kind of a pointless remote. I don't even remember the name of this stupid remote, but it's supposed to be a remote to control your smartphone. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, well, why don't you just use your smartphone? Mm hmm. And it's like, well, you you don't have to pull your smartphone out. But you got to pull this out. But you got to pull. And it's like the size of the old iPhones. Mm -hmm. So it's huge. Well, kind of. For a remote, it's huge. Yeah. I mean, it's twice the thickness of an iPhone right now. Yeah. And it's the size of like the OG iPhone, like and the iPhone 3G. And then but, and then, but the thing is like, oh, we can wear it rocking around wearing it on a lanyard. It's like, how goofy are you going to look? Like right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, but again, mm -hmm. why, don't, why don't you just hold your phone? Like, it just, it's. Pointless. Yes. I don't want to have to pull my phone out. But Agreed. you want this remote that has very limited capability? That costs $350? Yeah, for some, and it's like, well, you can send messages. I know, but like... I can send messages with my phone. Right. It's... it's uh, That was dumb. That it was, was a dumb. dumb and some of us have like the Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. So you could send messages through that. I, just it dictate just, your messages. Yeah, a lot of times we have issues because we say words that aren't in English. Right. And, so you know, of course, sometimes a, Siri just sucks. Right. It was just a pointless mm -hmm. product for 350 bucks. And it was just like, who's going to, why, why? Who's going to buy that? But we we saw that other really dope app. What was that other dope app called? Oh, the, I forgot. Okay. Oko? Oko, 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 Oko I think like it was. That. And it's like, like to help you cross the street. Mm-hmm. That's and a dope app. If you're one, blind and you have iOS, I think it's just for iOS. Yeah. And maybe for Android. No, I don't, I don't think so. I think it was just iOS. If you have an Apple iPhone or whatever any iphones right an ios device you could download this app it's a free app you point it at the uh at the crosswalk daily and it'll tell you when to go and when not to go the thing is if you're not on How the crosswalk awesome it'll that? still it'll let you know that because it has these vibrating things like it vibrates and it makes sounds yep. and if you're not facing the crosswalk correctly it's not do anything. it won't do anything mm -hmm. so you'll just have to move your phone until you're facing it correctly and that along with your skills of judging traffic that combination is great because I wouldn't solely rely on on that. I, you you got to know how to judge traffic, but sometimes yep. you can be a little off. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes you're not angled exactly correctly, or whatever. So having something that can help with all that stuff and let you know when to cross, along with your skills, that's amazing. So there you go. That's the blind news and the recap of the week. Hope you enjoyed that. It was brought to you by Ned. This good old fashioned popcorn. Do you like popcorn on the weekends? We're done talking. <laughs> so. <laughs> Damn it, let me make a commercial for my popcorn. No. Come, so, come on. Okay, fine. What's what's right. going on? <laughs> what's going on with what? I don't know, with you. God, I'm just tired, man. I'm so tired. I've been, I, I swear to God, alhamdulillah, today I actually feel quite refreshed right now. That's good. But throughout the week, man, I feel like I've been a zombie. I feel like it's been one thing after another, you know, trying to get this Quran program off, you know, off the ground and started this Quran, these Quran classes. But there's issues with the Arabi, so... I feel like you're just throwing that out of the blue and people aren't going to know what Quran class is. Bro, I'm just... You said what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> but you, you got to give some context. All right, so we're trying to do some Quran classes with blind Muslims, right? Um, it's it's the NFB Muslims group along with Islam by Touch, along with IBQS. Um, and if y'all don't know what NFB Muslims are, it's National Federation of the Blind. It's their Muslims division, which we're a part of. It's Islam by Touch, which we are. <laughs> and it's IBQS, which we're a part of. IBQS International Union of Braille Quran Services. If you don't remember, I am the deputy vice president of IBQS yeah, as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm all over the place. So um, so we're trying to do Quran training, Braille Quran training, for those who want to learn how to read the Quran in Braille, the actual Quran, and the Arabi Braille, right? Prerequisite is you got to know you got to know how to read English Braille, right? That's a prerequisite. You need to know that because there are characters that are similar. Mm-hmm. But the problem is that we're running into is, and this is, seems to be an issue with a lot of... They're just coming, they're running into issues with the way that things might be written or whatever. Yeah, like, you don't got to yeah. get all technical. And but. that's the thing. There seems to be a lot of issues with a lot of bro could ons that, you know. So, so yeah. trying so, to get all that Trying to get all that away. ordered, and uh, you know, not ordered, but straightened out and fixed up so we could get something started. But Allah, when that's going to be. 
Also, we're preparing for the NFB convention in Houston, right? Uh, trying to organize some events, trying to be a part of seminars. I keep volunteering to do stuff that I know I don't have time to do, right. which, which I need Yadira to be like, bro, you can't do that. <laughs> Dita, have, why aren't you doing that more often? You have to have, I did, I got on your case the other day. You do. You did. Yes, you did. Because you have to have a um, a really good balance between work and family. And I think a lot of times people... I mean, I put in time with the family. It's just, I, I just, I'm just running myself into the ground. But that's my point. Balance between taking care of yourself, taking care of your family. Like oh, took the kids the- to go watch the Mario movie this week. Yeah. So... See, that's family stuff. You have to you have <laughs> to have this balance to, to be able to keep going. And, and you sometimes don't. You know, mm-hmm. you don't do well with balancing. So yeah. I had to get on your case the other day for that. Yeah, I'm a bad uh, trapeze artist. Oh, I got him yawning. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say trapeze artist? Because they got to balance themselves. Ain't that the trapeze? Those are the ones, I don't know, they jump. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong tightrope guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bad tightrope guy. There you go. The trapeze are the ones that jump across. I don't know, wife. I'm not paying attention to life right now. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. Where am I? Where am I? Blue, blue is blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so uh so what's coming up on sunday wife because this is a topic we discussed talking about mother's day mother's day is coming up on sunday uh with the day this episode will be released yeah and um yadira i think do you have some strong feelings about mother's day or do you just have feelings about mother's day I'm just thoughts not strong feelings it's neither i mean why not why don't you have stronger feelings about it i don't know it's, a, it's just a day. Okay, so talk to me about Mother's Day. What? Okay, so you said we did our birthday, right? We did, we, you know, we kind of celebrate birthdays here. We celebrate birthdays. Yeah. So why is celebrating birthdays like fine for you okay. and Mother's Day like not fine, right? And by the way, Islamically, like we, we, you know, we hold the opinion that, you know, birthdays is not a big deal. It's not right? a big deal. Well, okay, um, so. And there are opinions that go along with that. You can do your own research to look that up, but. You know, that's us. You want to judge me? Take a walk. Don't yeah. care. Anyway, go ahead, wife. <laughs> so, why are birthdays? Birthdays to me are an individual thing, right? Mm-hmm. My birthday, your birthday, the kids' birthdays, this is something just like our wedding anniversary. This is connected to our family and what we've built. Yes. So celebrating each other, celebrating that there's this person that's part of our little puzzle that makes it complete. And so to me, that's special. So I make a big deal out of birthdays and they're, they're, to us, they're really special. You keep the tradition that my grandmother has done for me when I was, since I was little. It's like you, you get me the little Carvel ice cream cake. Mm-hmm. Hey, real quick, move to your. That's my right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I have to move the mic. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're fine. You can move the mic. I just wanted you to move to the right a bit because you're kind of all the way to the left. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> so for me, birthdays are a big deal because they're just what happens in this family. Mm-hmm. My grandmother always made a really big deal out of birthdays. And the, well, what's the tradition I kept? So the tradition you kept, my grandmother, since I was little, as far back as I can remember, she always got me a Carvel ice cream cake. And I don't know if that's all over the U.S. or it's more of a regional thing. I don't know, because you find them here. Well, they don't have so, Carvels here. They just no. have the ice cream cakes at Walmart. But for people who are listening who are out of this country, Carvel is an ice cream It's an ice cream brand. brand. It's a company. Mm-hmm. And in New Jersey, they had actual shops everywhere. Actual like Carvel places, ice cream shops where you could go in and order your ice creams and get them customized. But they do cakes, ice cream cakes. And they have these little chocolate crunchies on the cakes. They're so good. Those chocolate <laughs> crunchies are good. And then you could even order. Those ice- S's are so sharp. <laughs> what I'm gonna do? Okay. You're married to Puerto Rican. I don't know what to tell you. Deal with it. Okay. So. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick you off the podcast. Go away. Oh, oh, really? Okay, fine. <laughs> God, here we go. Here I'm we not go. gonna continue on if you're gonna keep being ridiculous. I can't keep a straight conversation. Listen, with hold you. on, hold on. Okay, listen. You need me in this podcast. All right. You need the levity that I bring to this podcast. All right. No denial. <laughs> See that? <laughs> Which you won't even hear that space because I'm using the software to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> face okay, anyway. red. <laughs> uh, is that how angry you are no i just it's hot in this garage oh uh, it's a bit it's, yeah but i can't turn on the air you can't, because it'll be real noisy. it's gonna it's be gonna, noisy it's gonna rain later and the humidity it's is humid bro ridiculous yes, like it, it is. is so stupidly humid Anyways, okay i interrupted so, you i apologize yes what's carvel good talk so about carvel, carvel has crunchies has we talked about that yeah ice cream place and it's great and every year you get a carvel every ice year, cream cake for your birthday i get a carvel ice cream cake for my birthday mm-hmm. every year since i was i don't know maybe four or five i can't even remember 
the first time I got one because my grandmother always did it every mm-hmm. single year. I've, once we got married and you were informed of said tradition, mm-hmm. well, then it was just us two, so we would we didn't do the whole big. But from now on, we do. They have these small versions of the cake, and they're called little loves. Mm-hmm. And so every birthday, I get a little loves cake, and we all have a slice. And I don't I don't want a whole huge huge cake because then there's too much cake. I mean, I'm cool with a whole, a whole huge cake, but um, that ice cream cake is amazing. It is so good. All right. From everything on that cake is good. Like the cream. The, everything. The everything. It's but just the so cream, good. The, it, it stains. So like you always end up with blue. I don't care. <laughs> it's, so good it it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. So every year I get my little loves cake, my Carvel ice cream cake. And birthdays are really, and every year you and the kids make me feel really special. And every year for everybody's birthday, something special is always done. Mm-hmm. And it's not necessary that you go and spend over the top, although I'm not going to lie, I'm guilty of when the kids were younger, these really big birthday parties for them. A lot of it was DIY. Mm-hmm. And um, so it wasn't. I made Thomas the train. You Me did. and OT. I have pictures of that train. Me and, and OT made so Thomas the train. When Della was really little, he was obsessed. Thomas the tank engine, yeah. that's his name. When he was really little, he was obsessed with Thomas the tank engine. Mm-hmm. So he turned to, I was like, I, he wants, I was going to make him a Thomas party. And then. I went on this, there wasn't Pinterest because Pinterest is not blind friendly, but it was mm-hmm. this other site where they had like all these different birthday ideas. And this one lady, she was like, she had made a Thomas the Tank Engine cardboard train, but she only did it for like a table centerpiece to put like spoons in it and stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. I was like, no, I want a, I want a big, you're going to have to make that about four times bigger. So <laughs> I wanted like a life size, you know what I mean? Like a my size mm-hmm. train for Della. So him... I had done, uh, Ned and my sister in law They were amazing. They <laughs> spent hours. I think to this day, they hate me a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> they made this huge train. And I mean, it like they. I mean, it came out dope. It was amazing. It mm-hmm. looked just like it. They even, Ned had even printed like the face and then OT cut it out onto the circle plate, paper plates and they made wheels out of paper plates. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then they stapled the co- the correct color. Um, cardboard, you know, like the cart um, poster boards mm-hmm. onto the, onto the bo- cardboard boxes that they. I mean, it took hours. <laughs> now a word from our sponsors. Would you like to have a <laughs> drink engine anyway. made by a blind guy? Reach out to Nad did his knickknacks and creatives. Anyway, I can make Thomas the train engines. You know, you're not. Um, uh, dragons, probably trolls. Some all the well, other little weird characters you, you need. Oh, I had you make a doghouse for Noah's. <laughs> Paw Patrol party. Dog, dog houses for Paw Patrol parties. We do lots here at Nadir's Knickknacks and Creatives. So reach out to us at Nadir's Knickknacks Creatives at gmail.com. You know what? See That's you not a real website or a real email. <laughs> it's, stop. Stop. Thank you for Nadir's Knickknacks and Creatives for sponsoring this uh, this podcast. If you'd like to sponsor the podcast, please reach out to uh, slambytouch at gmail.com. That is a real email. If you want to sponsor. <laughs> you know, we need some sponsors, bro. We do. We're broke. Anyway. Let's go. So send me money so I can talk about your product. So then um, I think we got a couple more sponsors in this episode. Anyway, <laughs> so we did that. Yes. So I to, OK, so we talked about birthdays yeah. and now talk about why you hate Mother's Day with I a didn't passion. Say, what? I never even <laughs> said that. Anyway, tell us why you loathe Mother's Day. I don't go. Mother's Day just doesn't mean, matter to me because it's just another day. My, I mean, in reality, this is what Mother's Day is, okay? Mother's Day is a made-up holiday by corporations. <laughs> That's well, really all it, actually, it is, isn't it? I think it? it started in the early 1900s or something like that, or very late 1800s. I don't know. It's not that yeah, old. Yeah, by Hallmark and the Rothschilds. They no, made it so it they actually, could take people's money. It's not. Are you going to let me finish? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. It was actually a woman who started it on a smaller scale, specifically for her mom. Mm. And um, it kind of took hold locally. Mm-hmm. And it, you know grew from there and then yes eventually hallmark was like yeah i want we're gonna we're gonna take over that yeah we want that started off as just one woman in america trying to show appreciation to her mom and it kind of spiraled from there so why didn't she just give her stuff for her birthday i don't know i'm not i'm not hurting she died so i mean i'm curious no seriously (laughs) (laughs) like what look at you just killing people off i mean if it was in the 1900s i highly doubt she's she's still alive so um but yeah, no, seriously, like, why didn't she just give I her don't stuff know. on her I, birthday? Because then it was like, you know, all mothers should be recognized nationally and, or internationally or whatever you want to call it. And that sparked and every then, day being a national day of something, something. garbage. Like, holy crap. <sighs> what else? What, what what days were they this week? I have no, I didn't. National Pancake Day. I don't know if that was this week. Uh, Hug a Tree Day. Um, 
Uh, let's see. I don't, don't know if all the, oh, I, don't, I don't know if all those were this week. But that anyway, was all this week. Don't shoot uh, a squirrel day. So Mother's Day to me is just not doesn't matter to me. I don't know. I just don't see. I, I don't need to be recognized on a day that's kind of this. I think most of the general holidays really don't mean anything to us. Like Islam or no Islam, it just doesn't mean anything to us. Right. right? It's not it, it, Valentine's that's the thing too. Day does not matter. It's not like well, I hold um, this whole religious, like deeply religious reason why I just mm-hmm. don't. I just don't see a reason. Um, and then I also know in I've known people in my life women in my life who in my life who have made a really big deal out of this day and want a lot of recognition but really don't you probably shouldn't be asking for that (laughs) just to put it nicely and yeah i just don't see the same and the same thing with father's day i just Mm -hmm. don't see the big now if it was important to you then i'd make it a big deal because it's important to you like father's day nope don't matter to me but it I think it's a stupid day. And then Father's Day to me really never mattered because I, I just never knew my father. Yeah. So it was like, whatever. And um You know what's funny? Whenever people that are horrible moms are like, nobody told me happy Mother's Day. I've I've dealt with that. And I'm just, <laughs> or they'll they've gotten mad at me. God, just, you guys just, suck. And I'm just like, I don't really I'm not interested. Or they in, abandon their children. They're like, nobody told me happy Mother's Day. Because to them, they're like that, that you will never understand you're the not big a mom, sacrifice bro. that they made and leaving you're their not kids a mom. and stuff. And no. you know, it's just that's like, a cheap, that's a cheapish excuse. It's, it's kind of just like I'm you, sorry. Didn't, you didn't, and here's the what thing what sacrifice you, you sacrificed your child so that you can live the life you want to live, and then, plain and simple. That's and, what it was. And um, you suck, you, you know, suck. if you're really struggling or whatever, one, two, three, you suck. <laughs> if you're really struggling in any way shape or form um like whatever you have your reasons and and it's a really complicated issue but um listen you you had a kid right no okay i'm okay because you're you're speaking from a place you have no idea i have no idea you but don't, i'll, I'll, I'll just watch call it. you have no let idea. me finish because you're speaking from a place where your your parents raised you your biological parents raised you i'm Lila. speaking from a place where that wasn't the case for me mm-hmm. and so and my mother and i have our relationship is fine. There's, we're like sisters. We crack up. We are close. You know what I mean? Everything. She's a great grandmother to my kids. But she doesn't get offended. This is the thing. She doesn't go around getting offended when I say my mother died in, in uh, three years yeah, ago. I know. That's the she point. She doesn't get offended when I'm like, no, my mother is my grandma. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, that's absolutely accurate. That's the truth. She doesn't and get she, offended And by she it. always was. And she always played some role in she your did. life. And she, this is my as point. Compared, but as this, compared. Listen. Good. This is my point. I agree with you. Like, okay. you're, if you're really that's, that's struggling, that's all I'm saying. If you're really struggling, and there are other ways to still be a part of your kid's life, yes. even if you can't physically raise them, there are other ways to do it. That's I'm not so, talking about that. Right. Um, I'm I talking about it, those who just give up their kids, abandon them completely, right. have no contact with them at all, and then get butt hurt when you don't tell them Happy Mother's Day. Right. Um, that's that's the people I'm talking and about. And then you know, she, my my mother raised the other kids she had and that's fine but i saw my mom on a constant basis her and mm-hmm. i have always been like sisters you know Plus what I your, mean? your mother had relationships with the fathers of those children right so that's that's another major yeah, difference the the my biological father was just was he was just never around exactly ever so, we'll look for him whenever there's a deadbeat daddy day which i'm sure is coming right. i'm sure it's coming because you um, know you know or, these you know, people or, that, or, or a lot of times these know. deadbeat dads will come out of the woodwork when you're they find out that their biological child is doing well mm-hmm and then it's like, oh yeah. I wonder if that'll ever happen. What would you do when that if that happens? If that ever happens? Yeah, seriously. Like honestly, what would you do? I don't know. Would you just let me take care of it? Absolutely not. Oh, Under come no on. circumstances. That would have been fun. Nope. All right. That's my issue. Yeah, but your issues are my issues. Nope. That's something that's that's absolutely mine. Okay. Um Understandable. I you, respect that. You left me. And I was your Don't child. Don't say you. Okay, you're not talking about me. So I was like, what are you talking about? You you left me, and mm-hmm. I am your biological child, and it's my place to decide what I'm going to do with that. And I can tell you this much: when I tell you I don't know what I'm going to do, it means am I going to lose it and yell at him, or am I going to ignore him? Because under no mm-hmm. circumstances is he allowed in my life, and under no circumstances is he allowed to be a part of my children's lives. You you chose to let that right go when you walked out. Yeah. I don't, I don't deal with that. Actually, you know what's a really, I've been asked or I've even asked myself. So it's both scenarios. Like, oh, well, okay. what if, what if he becomes, you know, what if he's Muslim? Yes. That's a very, that's uh, fantastic for question. you. That's yeah. wonderful for you. You still don't have a right to me, my kids, my life. I don't mm-hmm. want to deal with you. Um, it's like, well, you know, would you forgive him? That's irrelevant. Whether I forgive or don't, there's, what am I going to forgive? You just weren't there. No. 
I figured the answer is no. I won't so the, forgive them. Right. Yeah. So there's no forgive. Like, what, what do you want me to forgive? You weren't there. So there's nothing. I can't say it's okay because it's not. It's not okay. Mm-hmm. And this idea of like, well, you forgive for your own peace. I do have peace. I have a great life. I think that's a cop out. I, I do too. I, you know who says that? People who have effed people over and really want to get I that don't, forgiveness. But listen, if that's what if I think forgive, is really here's say, the thing. You know if what I mean? Forgiving somebody, if forgiving somebody, or someone who has never you, really been done wrong, right? But you if forgiveness I mean? w- works for you and you think that that's what you need to do to heal, mm-hmm. I don't judge you on that. If like I, this whole I forgive but don't forget. Then conversation you, in is, my is opinion, a lie. I if don't you know don't that forget, you, you don't forgive, forgive. Exactly. because when I forgive, I it's let over. Go. It's let That's go. It. I forget. It's done, mm-hmm. and I want to move forward, and I want to mend whatever's going on, or or whatever the case is. I don't need if I'm choosing to keep you out of my life. I don't need to forgive that. I don't need to say it's okay. I just don't need it. Let I just don't need it to have you know it eat me alive or or, or darken my heart, my heart, or make me be filled with resentment or hatred. Because I don't forgive doesn't mean that I hold those feelings. It just means no, it's not okay, um, and I'm very comfortable with that. I'm very, I don't have to say, I forgive you. I'm, no, I don't. You left. And there were things that I had to deal with that you were the cause of because you left. Mm-hmm. I don't forgive that. And I'm really comfortable with that. Now, I've had Muslims tell me, you want to make sure you forgive because you want, you know, Allah to forgive you. And I get that. But I am not, I am not Allah. I, I do not even close to a drop of that. First, first of all, once you know again, I mean? once again, it's who, who are the people <clears throat> that say that? People who have not really gone through any legit hardship. Or if people, they have gone on, through hold hardship, hold but on, they on. haven't people, gone through what I've gone through. People, or people haven't gone through like what you've gone through. Have gone, through. Have, gone, have, have gone through that pain. Right. Right. Let's be real here. That, that Do betrayal, you know that pain. what it is to fear getting married because you don't know if you're going to marry your own brother? Mm-hmm. That's, that was a legit concern when I was younger. Alhamdulillah, you did not. No. You're, you're <laughs> of a total different race. And yes. you know, maybe subconsciously, that's why I was like, yeah, he's cool. Yep. <laughs> wow. I won by default. <laughs> Default, default, (laughs) default. That was a that was a Simpsons. That was a Simpsons reference, right? Was that Simpsons? That was the Simpsons, was right? Simpsons. I can't remember what episode, yes. but it was Homer who was... Uh, default, uh, yeah. default. So, um, Let's go. When I was younger, getting into a relationship was a really scary prospect because I wasn't sure if this person, especially if he was close in age, was my brother. That's Those are really scary thoughts and concerns that if you're... If you know your parents, if you're raised by your parents, even if your parents are divorced and they're still involved in your life, you don't have to worry about that. Mm-hmm. You don't know what that's like. I, I, alhamdulillah, whatever Allah gave me is what I could handle. But and by that same token, just don't tell me how to manage that. You know what I mean? But this is what I'm saying. Like, right? Who? who so days like Mother's Day and Father's Day were just like, it's whatever. You know, especially Father's Day. Like I mean, Mother's Day was a big deal in your house. No, no. For me personally. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And but Father's, in, in and Father's Day, up was, Father's Day was whatever, for real. Yeah. Um, but Mother's Day was a huge deal in my house growing up, particularly because for my grandma. Mm-hmm. And I think to a certain extent, it's kind of messed up because her daughters were also mothers, right? They had their own children and their own families, and they should have been able to spend it how they wanted because mm-hmm. it was their holiday too, right? But it was expected. But it was, if you didn't go there. and you weren't. Oh, forget about, forget about it. Forget about it. It was, you were, it was how to pay, basically. Yep. yep. So that that also kind of just felt kind of forced. Like, even mothers should have had the right to say, you know what? And and who were with their spouses at the time should have been able to, like, we're going to take you out. We're going to celebrate you today. Yeah. No, we can't because I, we have to go to mom's house. It had to be some sort of breakfast or something. It was always dinner. Or No, no, I'm saying, yani, like, if you wanted to celebrate. Yes, it had to be. And, also, and then who the hell wants to go to breakfast on that here, day? Because right. God knows that. Place not only is that, but like remember, they were with their spouses. They have mothers too. That's true. But oh yeah, that that couldn't fly. You couldn't spend. You couldn't say this year we're we're going to alternate. Like this I said, year we're for, not going. For me, it didn't matter. You know what I mean? I didn't care. Islamically, it does not mean anything to me whatsoever. You know, growing what I mean? up in your house, I don't. No, not really. Growing up in my house, we really didn't do. Things. Anything, birthdays, <laughs> nothing. Even Eid was whack. Okay. To be honest, you know, love my parents, but Eid was whack. So, um, uh, yeah. So we, you know, holidays. I mean, other than the ones that I got, like an X, like a Sega. I remember I got a Sega Genesis on That's my cool. Eid or son. That was cool. That's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, no, Eid was whack. But yeah, anyway, so <laughs> days, days like that were also just command performances, mm-hmm. and so I just detached. And when I didn't have to do it, it was like this was pretty liberating, mm-hmm. actually. So to me, it's just another day. If you want me to tell you, you know, wish you happy Mother's Day, I'm not averse to it. If you want, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to, that's fine. It's not a big deal. And it's not like I'm like, you know, campaigning against my Mother's Day. It just, to me, is neither here nor there. I have. You sure you don't have a crusade against Mother's I Day? I don't. Okay. I have other days in my family making each other feel special. Um, you know what I mean? Like, there's, it's just not 
a day that I'm keen on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, Father's Day was really just really Whatever. irrelevant. Yes. And then the guy that was in my life that was, I guess, playing a role of a father was whack, walking trash, living trash. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I wasn't going to be celebrating that. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day, no. <laughs> Mother's Day, not really, you know. Yeah. Father's, Father's Day, Day I, definitely no. Yeah, I think I have more of something against Father's Day if you're going to if you're going to kind of push me like which holiday do you like hate cuz you know you're weird like that. Well, which holiday do you hate? It's, I hate Christmas. I think Father's Day is, right? is a we day all know that, that I'm was just, clear, right? right. <laughs> Father's Day is a day that I'm just like Father's Day you hate? I it big middle finger. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> because, is it one of those big foam fingers? Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, this episode is brought to you by oh, Lord, Jim's no. Foam Fingers. If you need <laughs> for any occasion, I, whether you're trying to flip off a holiday uh, or you just want to give them a thumbs up to everyone in the neighborhood, reach out to Jim's Foam Fingers and he'll send you one custom made to you. And if you use the code. <laughs> no one should listen because he's totally just making things up. Anyway. Oh, man. Okay, so that's so, interesting Father's about Day, Mother's Day and Father's Day Father's and stuff. Day is, and that day, that's we'll bring this up. up again. Come around Father's Day. Come on, Father's Day, <laughs> if we get a chance, right? Because Father's Day... <coughs> what day is that? Sometime in June. Oh, yeah, I, I forget true. which Sunday it is, but some Sunday in June. One of these Sundays. And All um, right. we'll see how busy we are. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's that's, that's kind of my thought on... On Mother's Day. On Mother's Day, it's, it's, it's neither here nor there. It's not a big deal. I don't personally celebrate it, but, mm -hmm. you know... I've gotten flowers on it, and it's not like I'm going to be like, really? You got me flowers? It's thank you. And Who gave it, you flowers on Mother's Day? Your father. Did he? Uh-huh. Oh, multiple dad. times. This is my dad a nice guy? He is. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. All right. And I'm like, you know, and then I get them, and I'm like, oh, and they do make you feel special, and I, and I like them, and they're sweet, and it's great. So if, it's not like that I'm like, don't acknowledge it. It's just me personally. I'm not expecting anything. And I would never expect my kids to be put under that pressure mm. for it. I'd be, I'd more appreciate being rem remembered on my birthday than Mother's Day. All right, cool. Well, we're at 35 minutes, wife. We could call it a show. Sure. You want to call it a show? People like longer shows, but I'm comfortable with it. I mean, look, what else you want to talk about today? I don't know. That, I think that was pretty good. What are you making for dinner? <laughs> Nothing because there's leftover chili. There you go. You're eating chili. Chili's good. All right, guys. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to have a short one. Listen, we've been stupid busy, so we're going to try to pump out these episodes as much as we can. We're going to uh, do the best we can to make these longer. I'm I'm trying to think of... I tell you, Adita, like I'm telling her, and the thing is, like, I'm like, hey, find stories, find things we could talk about, but the thing is, I'm putting all the pressure on her to find things we could talk about. But, uh, so, yeah. If you guys have suggestions or questions or things you want us to discuss, yeah, please send it on over. Leave it in the comments. You could send an email to islambytouch at gmail.com. Again, a real email. A real email. That's a real one. <laughs> That's a real email. Not I all just, the fake ones right. that I made up. <laughs> I like that fake Saturday. <laughs> what is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that fake Saturday that almost caught me fired. <laughs> 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 oh man well, all right guys listen please make sure you like share subscribe do all that good stuff uh make sure you guys follow us on all of our socials it's all at islam by touch sub to the channel um you know like and all that make sure you tell people about what we do right go tell people about what we do so that they can really hear our perspectives on different things because we're just being real here, right? We're just talking. This is where I we like discussing have a all the different topics because it really does take you out of being like pigeonholed as well, the blind person. Yeah, so I, I I really personally like expanding beyond that. So Yadita always see this is the thing, right? Yadita always finds these really cool articles and things like that during the week, and I'm like, all right, save it for the podcast. Save it for I the podcast. I have a bookmark. I could go podcast. back. If you want to end it now, you can. If not, I'll go look at my. No, we're gonna end it now. We'll talk about that. Because I think next the Mother's week. Day one was pretty interesting. Yeah, we'll leave it at Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Boo. And my hatred for Father's, Father's Day. Day really bad. Remember, Mother's Jim's Day. foam fingers. If you want a big middle finger, Mother's Day is whatever. Like, to Day. us, it's indifferent. You know. I mean, I don't care for. It. I don't care about any of these holidays. I think they're all BS. I think it's all just made up. Just Listen. a way for people to make money. That's it. You know what I mean? I'm a firm believer in that Allah gave us two holidays, so we celebrate these holidays. I don't care if you celebrate it. Just right. don't make me feel bad for not doing it. That's, right? that's that. You just nailed it because that's the thing. When, when you, you want to celebrate really it, do whatever the you hell you what? want. You want to celebrate it? Great. Happy Mother's Day to everybody who's celebrating. Mm -hmm. that's, that, I, I, and I really mean that. I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. <laughs> but for me, it's neither here nor there. Like, I'm not. 
And it's not like Christmas. It's not like you're worshiping something different no. than Allah. Yeah, exactly. I don't care. You, you, do, do you, you, you celebrate it. Well, happy Mother's Day. And I hope you, you have a great... Oh, my God. There was this meme, uh, this thing, this guy. Um, and if you're not Muslim, yeah, it's all good. You do you. You know right. what I mean? I'm just saying. I'm not going to be like, hey, yeah. You know, I tell people all the time right. whenever it's their holiday. Thing. Hold on real quick. I always tell he's like, listen, I hope you enjoy your holiday. Yeah. That's it. It's your holiday. Have a good holiday. Right. That's it. It's your day. Enjoy it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what's the, the thing, funny um, meme? So there's this uh, homeschool dad I'm, I'm friends with on Facebook mm-hmm. um, from the co-op. And he shared this meme or, or this thing, and it was just like, um, Mother's Day is coming up. So, so it was something along the lines of like, make sure you're, you're, you let your wife know, make sure she has the house cleaned and all the meals re- made and the laundry done or whatever, all of it before, uh, before, <laughs> the night before so she can enjoy her holiday the next day. <laughs> and it's true. It's like, it, it almost feels like, oh my God. Moms have so we have so much on our plate, mm-hmm. and on a societal level, on so many different levels, we're expected to be perfection at all times at everything we do. Um, and you're still downplayed, and you're still downplayed because you're not a career woman. Well, and then if you are a career woman, well, you're not mother enough. Mm-hmm. Like it's if you if you choose to work from home, well, then you're you're obviously slacking on one thing or another because you can't possibly juggle all of that. Mm-hmm. If like there's nothing as a mom that you can do that's going to be good enough. So they throw you this one day that you can look at it from, okay, at least we get this one day, but it's like, really, we get one commercialized hallmark day. And then the rest of the freaking year is you're not good enough, work harder. And somehow you are the cause of all your kids being screwed up. You know what I mean? Yep. And to me, it's just like, it's so hollow. And to me, it's like, you know what? Maybe mothers should just be, you shouldn't need one day to to appreciate your mother. You know what I mean? For the things she's done. And here's the thing. Here's the caveat. Because I saw something else this morning. See, this gets longer because then I remember things. Yes. It's like not all mothers should be celebrated. And it was really talking about the moms who were crappy or the moms who mistreated their kids. That's that's kind of a given. And I understand where they were coming from by saying that because society just expects every mother to be treated with a certain look. On the other side of that, everything is an extreme. Either you're not valued or it doesn't matter what type of mother you are. It's still your mother and you have to put up with whatever she throws at you because she's mm-hmm. still your mother. Mm-hmm. It, everything is really extreme. And I think both views are just so off because there has to be a middle ground. There has to be appreciation for those who really do work hard and really do our best to give our kids what's best for them and what they need. And then there has to be an acknowledgement that not every mother is like that. Not every mother is going to do right by their child. Not every father is going to do right by his child. It's, it's the truth. And there also has to be an acknowledgement of sometimes we're going to mess up and sometimes we're going to do. And, and, and those of us who are really legitimately trying to be an excellent mother, most times we're going to do great. But sometimes we're going to mess up because we're all human. There's no way you can be perfect. So I don't know. It's just this one day people get so overly passionate about. And I'm like, it's just a Sunday. It's just like it's just like Valentine's Day and all these other stupid holidays. It's just a day. Yeah. And I think the better way to look at it is your individual situation and figure out what works best and take it from there. You know what I mean? Figure out how you can either mend things or show the appreciation or whatever it is you need to do, you know, or or even if mending things means kind of just setting some serious boundaries. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, This whole over like this, whatever. And again, and if you choose to be part of that holiday and you love it, fantastic. (laughs) You know what I mean? But don't make somebody else feel bad because they don't really want to partake in it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it boils down to. That's what it boils down to. You, you do you, and and I'll, I'll, and I'll do me. I'll do me, and get along fine. And we'll be one big family. <laughs> we are family. Ah, oh, your lights died. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Dita's lights died, so we're gonna end the show because her lights are dead. Now, now I we got the song in my head. There you go. All right, guys, <laughs> let's kind of go over the the finish again. So, uh, so once again, make sure you like, subscribe, I totally got share, off <laughs> do all this stuff. You're still in the, you're still in the, okay. Video. It's just the lights died because it's connected to a battery. They're not plugged in. This happened no last time, I think. Stuff. Uh, not last time, like a couple times before. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so. anyway, guys, make sure you follow us at Islam by Touch on all of our socials. Uh, Yadida still got her always Yadida going. Yeah, so yeah, she's that's, always probably, yeah. that's probably going to die soon. That's probably going to get shut down pretty soon only because it's probably more strategic for me to just do everything from the Islam by touch. Yep. So. Yep. So make sure you like, follow, subscribe, tell people about what we do. And we'll see you next time. Did you got any final thing before I say the, my outro? Um, no, I think I, I covered it all. You covered it all? I think so. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me make sure I'm on the right button. I am. I'm on the right buttons. Please. All right, guys. We will see you next time. <laughs> Where we take you behind the blind. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
dum dum.